Hi, this is Dr. Duresti with the Cranial Release Technique, and I am so thrilled today to have with us Dr. John D'Ambrosio, a chiropractor from New Jersey, a CRT aficionado, a person, if I need a CRT, I would go to John. So John, welcome, good morning, and thank you so much for spending some time with us today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. So John, first of all, uh, you're in practice in New Jersey, how long do you practice for now? Oof, um, 93, 26 years. 26 years. Life yeah. of chiropractic college, if I remember? Yep. Great. And where are you in New Jersey? I'm in Oradell, which is in uh, Bergen County. Bergen County, New Jersey. 20 minutes from the GWB. Okay, and for those not in this area, that's George Washington. George Washington Bridge, Bridge. yes. <laughs> And if someone were in Manhattan and they needed to come to you, that's certainly doable also, right? Absolutely. They can drive it. There's a train not far from the office. They can just come in and see me. Great. Okay. It's worth everybody, but we'll talk about that a little later. <laughs> so, John, uh, you and I met, I would say, we were just talking off camera probably about 15 years ago, more or less. And uh, you took right to CRT and... Um, what was it about the cranial release that kind of sparked your interest when we first met? What made you invest the time and the money to learn it? And up until today, you're still using it. So what is it about CRT that you turned on, let's, let's just say? Uh, it's actually uh, pretty funny. I was looking for, I'm always looking to learn. I mean, no matter what I do, I'm trying to you know, be on the cutting edge, be the best doctor I could be for my patients. And I came across a, some information about CRT, and I thought this sounds interesting. So I went to, uh, you actually taught it. It was an intro class. And I went in there, and it was really interesting, but I wasn't sure if it was something I wanted to do. But you had given me a CRT, and I went home. And part, part of the way home, I thought, you know, I'm really feeling different, something that I didn't really expect, because it seemed like such a simple procedure, and I noticed changes. So I started... Uh, you know, I was getting adjusted regularly, so I had the chiropractor who normally checks me check me. I said, don't adjust me. I just want to see if I need to be adjusted because, you know, when you see somebody for uh, long periods of time, it, you can get into the habit of you know what's going to be out on them. So he checked me. Nothing was out. Um, this went on week after week after week. Around month three, I said, I got to do CRT. So I called you up, and you are happy to have me, and the rest is history. And the rest is history. That's right. And that's, that's really always been the challenge for me is that whether it's chiropractors or other practitioners or even patients, when they watch you do the technique, if I'm at an event, at a convention, whatever, it looks so simple and it takes all of a minute to do. And then they, I mean, I would be the same way to say, I mean, I could learn that in two minutes, but as you and I know, it's, it's once you become a black belt in, in the martial arts, you keep training and you become a second degree black belt and a third degree. Mm -hmm. So there's no end to the training. You just, the more you do it, the better you get. And in my experience, the better you get, the more you want to do it. And that's what happens. And it, it, it becomes, uh, it, it, I went from, like you probably, from a traditional osseous type chiropractic practice to one where I sort of dabbled in cranial and then I got very good in cranial and then the cranial release really came across and then that's all I did for me. But uh, for the practitioners that are out there that are maybe looking like you were, mm -hmm. looking for something different, looking to add something to their toolbox, I think you already said it, but what would you suggest to them as far as cranial release? I would say check it out because there's Watching it and experience it are two different things. I've been, I've helped you uh, teach in different uh, states and we've gone out there and these are people who chiropractors get adjusted all the time for the most part. So for them to see these changes, it's huge because they've been under care for years or decades and we've had a lot of people who were old timers see incredible results and decide they want to take the course. <laughs> and we, we've also seen people and you know, people who think this is so simple, they don't want to take the course. They're looking up, watching everything you do. They go home and they do it on a spouse. And we get a call the next day. Thank God we're still in town. What that, they're having migraines or they're not, you know, could you fix them? Exactly. 
Exactly. That's more common than I'd like to admit, but people look at it and think it's such a very simple procedure, but there are so many steps. It's, it's almost overwhelming. You walk in there to the training, you're like, what do I need three, four days for this for? And right. you walk out after the first day and you're like, holy mackerel, I need a week and a half. Right. But you walk out and you know it. Well, and that's it. And the good news now is that everything's online. So I videoed every aspect of the program so that you can, at home, you can watch it. And then hopefully if you're in the, in the, in the neighborhood of someone that's another practitioner, you can go and lay on the table and get worked mm -hmm. on and work on them and, and fine tune your technique. But there was also, now it's just interesting because not a half an hour ago, I just did a video on the vagus nerve. Okay. It was, as you and I know, the vagus nerve, cranial nerve 10, Super important for the parasympathetic nervous system in the viscera, the chest, all the digestive system for those of you that are non-patient, non-practitioners. And then after, I, I believe it was after we taught a seminar together, we were together a few days and I worked on you three or four days in a row, mm -hmm. something very interesting happened with you. And yeah. I'd like you to tell that story because then... I remember you before then, and I remember mm -hmm. you after. So I'll, I'll put my input after your little story about what okay. happened. Okay. What did you know? Yes. So we were teaching in Philadelphia, and I drove you out there. We, you know, took one car, and, you know, it's like a two, two and a half hour ride or something like that. We did it like half an hour, <laughs> and I was, I was flying down the road, and that was second nature. <laughs> Things you aged a couple of years in the car. <laughs> But, and, you know, we get out there, we eat, and I think, like, you know, a big plate of food took me three bites, and I'm done, and you're, like, enjoying your food. I'm like, holy mackerel, when's Bill going to finish? We're sitting there for, like, half an hour, and I'm, I'm already digesting the food, and, and you're still savoring it. I'm like, what, what's going on here? And then you gave me the cranials, and at the end of the weekend, my drive home, I didn't even realize it, but it was very relaxed. I was not speeding. I was not weaving traffic, and then I came home, and I had dinner. And my wife's looking at me and she's like, what, is this something you learned on the internet? And I'm like, what, what are you talking about? She said, you're eating so slow, you're chewing your food, you know, what is this, you know? I'm like, no, I, I didn't even realize I was doing it. It just became second nature. And, and that's really stuck. I eat a little faster now, but my driving, I do not weave traffic. I'm not passing people. I'm very contentious driving at a regular speed. You know, I'm not in the fast lane doing 60. I'm keeping up with traffic, but I'm not zooming past people. I'm not in a rush. And that's something that stayed, and that had to have been 10 years ago. That had to and have been, yes. And I remember that like it was yesterday. And I remember you telling me the story about your wife saying to you, would you learn something new on the internet? And we both had a laugh about it. But when we really stop and think about it, I'm imagining what happens is you were so locked up in the sympathetic fight or flight mechanism Everything you did, from the way you walked, from the way you drove, from the way you ate, everything was bang, 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 rush, rush, rush. And then I think we were together two or three days that weekend. And after all those CRTs you received consecutively, all of a sudden, something changed. I'm imagining you shifted back to the parasympathetic nervous system. And again, as I just mentioned on the previous little video, we need the doorway open. There's a time to go sympathetic and there's a time mm -hmm. to go parasympathetic. There's a time to hit the gas and there's a time to hit the brake. So in my experience, because I was mentioning about the HRV machine, the heart rate variability, invariably everyone that I put on that machine, they are stuck in the fight or flight. They're mm -hmm. sympathetic dominant. They're all charged up. And after the CRT, you, I see the difference as a practitioner they feel a difference, but the, the device, the HRV, doesn't lie. The, the objective test shows that they're functioning now more in the parasympathetic range. So I guess sort of to wrap all this up then, John, uh, any advice to someone out there? I know we sort of touched on it, or patients that are out there. Any story you want to tell? Any, any other thing? I mean, you were, you were, that's the best story ever, the one you <laughs> told about yourself. <laughs> but I'm assuming you see things like that with patients, especially the ones, I mean, I was just, we were just talking again off camera. I was just in the supermarket the other day and you just went there today. 
And in the supermarket where I am here, a lot of people choose the self-checkout with you know, mm -hmm. ourselves because there's only three cashiers and it's, you know, you're going to wait an hour or you can do it yourself and wait five minutes. So, you know, you, you scan everything. I scanned all my, my wagon full of food and then I'm there hitting the buttons and paying and everything. And there's a, there's a guy come ran right up. I mean, not one inch behind me. And I'm like, Whoa, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I still got to pay. And I have to go bag all this myself. You know, you might want to go somewhere else. And he's like, no, 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 I'll wait, I'll wait. And he, you could just see, he was just, and this was in the supermarket. And then he went on to tell me, well, I'm retired, I don't have anything to do all day. But you would think someone that's retired, it seemed like he had money. I didn't ask, we didn't get into that conversation, but you could see his nervous system was just so wound that he was just, his life was in a rush. And right. if, if I had more time, I would have sat him down and he would probably wouldn't want to hear it anyway. He was in a rush, but those are the people you put them on the table, they start to receive CRT and you know, the wife will comment, what's going on with John? What's going on with Harry? The husband will comment, what's going on with my wife? She's different. She's, she's calmer. She's softer. She's telling me she's sleeping better. Her mood is better. I mean, all these things because we're affecting the central nervous system. Mm -hmm. This is what people need to understand. And this is why, I mean, everyone walking on the planet, in my opinion, maybe you'll agree, maybe you'll disagree, should be receiving CRT on a regular basis. I do, you do, our wives do, our kids do. Why shouldn't everybody? So that's right. what I have to say about that. Yeah, and some of the, uh, to, to ride along with that, uh, huge changes I see. I, I see patients who are, you know, on the autism spectrum. And the changes in them, once they get the trainer release, I mean, they just relax lying on the table. I've had people videotape their kids because they said, you know, the relatives would not believe it. My husband won't believe it. My wife won't believe that they're just lying there, relaxed, ready to fall asleep. They're never sitting still. They're always moving around. And it's such a change. And you know, if you could affect anybody that way, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you want that? Exactly, exactly. All right, again, John, you are in what part of New Jersey? Oradell, New Jersey. Oradell, New Jersey. We're going to leave his, you have a website, John, for people to go I to? do. It's, um, it's kind of long. It's dr, you know, now I'm blanking out on it. I'm, I'm giving you my email. It's uh, structuralchironj.com. StructuralChiroNJ.com. Okay. Right. All one but a good one. So, yes. John, thank you so much for these few minutes. I hope the, I hope patients in the New Jersey, New York, Connecticut area, Pennsylvania, if you want to, if you want to visit a real black belt at CRT, John is your man. I hope you go and visit him if you're in the area. And I'll put the information down below. And if you're not in the area, if you're out in, Colorado or California or Canada or in Italy, take a look at the website, look for a practitioner in your area. Hopefully there's someone close by. Get on the table, experience CRT and experience the difference mm -hmm. of what it's like when you're in what we call whole brain function. When the body's in balance, the cranium's in balance, your life is in balance. Absolutely. Thanks again, John. Thanks for all your help and uh, keep up the good work. All right, thank you for your time. Goodbye.